Hey there, welcome to the E-Zone. I am Erica with the K and you have entered the E-Zone experience. So um, if you have found me, that means that we are vibing on the same frequency. That means that you found me and that we just happen to be right here to, today. So if this is your first time watching, please like, subscribe, comment, and believe me, I read all of the comments and I will respond to most of them, even the malicious or shady ones. So please comment, like, sub subscribe, hang out with me. Um, I talk about relationships. I talk about love. I talk about dating. I talk about things that irritate me that I see on Instagram. I will talk about those. And um, if you have found me again, if you are already subscribed, that means that we're still rocking together. We are still on the same frequency. That doesn't mean that we have to always agree, but you're here. So um, when you leave this video or when you log out, walk away from this video, you will be enlightened. Or if nothing else, you would definitely be entertained. So today, if you're interested in talking about dating, um, about men, then stay tuned. That's what we're talking about because I'm still um, getting comments and things from my videos, which I, I still don't understand the issue. So let's go back to the beginning of time when women didn't have what anything close to what we have today as far as equal rights. They didn't have the right to vote. They didn't have the right to work. We still don't have <laughs> equal pay. Like, I think we're doing a much better job at it. Women have decided or had to be or were forced to go into the workforce because men were failing at supporting or, no, I said the three Ps, the providing, protecting, and producing. Very good at producing babies, but not being the provider at home right so and i'm I, and I, I got a comment the other day that i was man bashing and um that women have been that's bullshit like women have finally found their voice but just out here no you got the steve harveys you got all of these instagram influencers these male influencers who have been bashing women for years telling us how to be feminine telling us how to be women what what and women no we just started using our voices we just started pushing back a little bit we just started having standards because we became empowered because we had to get on a level playing field with the men that most of us don't want to be on like if I had a early in early on found or became entangled or got in a relationship or a man had found me in my 20s that knew how to provide, protect and produce, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. I would love to be one of those women who says my husband paid all the bills my husband um plans all the trips my husband does all all of the things around the house the honey do list like i have men co-workers who that's all they talk about the wife the wife wants this the wife has this list the to-do list the honey do list if i'd met that early on and that had been my experience, that would be all I know. And my expectations would certainly be different. And how who I am now would be different, right? Because I didn't have that. The guys I met were always half, let's go halfsy. Or I maybe I set the precedent that I knew where they were financially. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just put it together. Let's put all our toys in the box. And then let's just play with all the toys. Whereas I should have just understood that I needed or wanted a man to be a man. 
whatever that looks like, right? And maybe the men that I've chosen, because it was a, a, a choice, right? I selected or opted to be in those relationships. And if that meant Hamzy, if that's all they had to offer, and I took it, then that's what I deserve. I mean, I think we all should be selfish and selective in who we engage with, who we entertain, who we allow into our lives, who we invite in. Because it's all an invitation. We're not holding anyone hostage in our lives. We're not requiring them, mandating them, unless you're in some toxic, abusive relationship. And I'm not speaking on that. I, I can't speak on that. I don't know what that's like. But all of these voluntary relationships are just that, voluntary. I'm drinking, um, what? The Snoop Dogg um, champagne, not the champagne, Prosecco or sparkling wine or something like that. I can't even think of the name. I meant to bring the bottle, but sipping on that. And um, it's okay. LaMarco is my favorite if I'm going to do a Prosecco or a sparkling wine. But th this is fine. It has like a sweet aftertaste in it or something. And I'm not a sweet girl. I am, really. This is all a facade. I, I come off really me. I am a teddy bear. I am a marshmallow when it comes to relationships. But I, I go back to saying that, me, that the comments about um, women, there was another comment about all, all, my videos are all about financial aspect and the value because that's what's important to me. You have to, no you don't know, but you have to realize I came up poor. I came up, we struggled. Like all I knew was I can't wait to get the fuck out of this, whatever this is. Like I wanted my mom to do better. My dad, my God, if he'd done better, then maybe my expectations would have been different, right? But that wasn't it. And I just knew that the rest of my life was up to me. And I didn't want that for me, that lifestyle, how I grew up when I didn't have a choice, I didn't want that. But as soon as Erica could get a job at 14, 15, I did it. And then when I was working in little rinky dink jobs, I worked at the library getting 10 hours a week or something. Then I went to Kroger getting buggies. I was a buggy girl and it wasn't enough. And I was like, dude, the people who are making the money there in the offices. And this was back in the day, right? Cause nobody is striving to work in corporate anymore. Everybody wants to rap or be an influencer or something like you. It's like we're, the health industry is getting ready to suffer. They say in the next 10 years because nobody wants to be a fucking doctor or nurse or anything like that. So if everybody's gonna be an influencer, we're fucked. But I grew up poor, barely fucking making. We never went without food. So let me say that we always had food. Maybe not what I wanted to eat, but always had something to eat. And it was good. We weren't eating out of, we eating cat food or dog food or any of that shit. We always had real meals. I grew up living with my grandmother, my grandparents, with my mom. Um, but I just knew I didn't want that lifestyle for me. And I was like, I got to do better. Like it's on me. And it's all in my mind. It's always been like that. Like it's on me. So I'm not man bashing. I do have standards and I don't think that age should have anything to do with it. Like, because you get old, you're supposed to just crawl in your ass and just accept whatever is being handed to you. That's bullshit. And I and shame on these men who are picking on little Erica because I'm saying your bullshit is not enough. And I don't know why you're mad at me because if you're not interested in me because of what I'm saying, why does it bother you? You're not in my dating pool. I don't even want you to even approach me because your mindset is that I'm wrong because I want you to be able to take care of you financially. 
so that I don't have to take care of you financially. I don't want you to come in and abuse our relationship or be with me for to be to use me. Like who wants that? And I I get it that men don't want to be used either, but for years that unfortunately that's how the, it wasn't being used. It was the men were taking care of the women. And this was this goes way back. They had a bunch of fucking cock, concubines. Am I saying that right? Mistresses, chicks on the side, like all the men who were financially successful or financially stable or financially able to. Unfortunately, a lot of them had chicks on the side because they could afford it. So that meant they took care of home. And then they picked up this right here for whatever reason, maybe for entertainment purposes, maybe the sex was a little bit more raunchy, maybe they weren't in love with their wife, but they felt obligated and they fell in love with someone. I don't know what the reason is, but forever men have done that. And not saying that women don't cheat and women don't, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I'm not bashing men. I'm saying that my expectations are still that a man should be able to take care of himself financially and forget the provide for me because I truly feel like that the guy that approaches me next, the next one that I fall in love with, he he's not gonna be perfect because I'm not going, I'm not perfect, but he is, I'm gonna feel safe with him. I'm going to feel safe with him, whatever that looks like. And what feels safe for me, I will say immediately, is that he is financially stable. He is financially responsible for his own stuff. He's not looking for somebody to come in and take care of him or add to him his stuff so he can just cover his basics to cover his uh, having a roof over his head being able to get transportation like i i'm sorry and no i'm not i don't apologize somebody's at the door scared the shit out of me but i i'm not a, I, i'm not sorry i'm not sorry i'm not sorry i'm not sorry i i'm not bashing men i love men i love the masculinity. I love the swag. I love the way that a man walks when he is confident. Even if he doesn't have a dime in his pocket, a man can give off the aura of I have my shit together because they have mentally accepted that whatever, even though they're broke, they are still the man like that arrogance or that confidence i think it's the confidence that turns me on they don't even know they're sexy the ones that don't try too hard i i i love them i love that they can do better and i love when they do better but again if what i'm saying hits you and makes you holler it's a dog a hit dog will holler my pool, my dating pool isn't for you. Besides, I'm retired from dating anyway. Thanks for watching. Again, you have joined or walked into the E-Zone experience because we have been vibing on the same frequency. Like I have been up here and some kind of way you found me. Maybe you were up here and you dropped down, to, who knows? Or maybe you were down here and you just like, you know what, this girl, she said some shit. But I make no apologies. Welcome to the E-Zone Experience. I am Erica with the K. And please like, subscribe, comment. I can never remember that. that like I always have to go over there to remember to say that. So eventually it will become a rhythm. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn that notification button on, right? I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of December, like right before the new year. My views are up. So again, thanks for watching. Until next time.